In a previous tutorial, we showed you how and where to load OFX plugins. Prior to OFX plugins, we had Sparks. They are still available and two of our products, Twixter and Real Smart Motion Blur, work under this other API. It's a different method to load Spark, so in this tutorial we will see how. We can start by downloading them from our website here. We can navigate to revisioneffects.com and select Products, Twixter, and scroll down to the latest version of Twixter for Flame, Flare, Smoke, and Flame Assist. Here we can select the Mac OS download. Once it has downloaded, we can install as usual. We can do the same for Real Smart Motion Blur and then continue with the tutorial. As I mentioned, Twixter and Real Smart Motion Blur are Sparks, and Denoise, Deflicker, and Rematch are OpenFX plugins, and we'll use the method we saw in the OFX tutorial. Once we have downloaded and installed the Real Smart Motion Blur and Twixter Sparks, they function the same as in other applications. And you can watch any of the tutorials on our site for detailed information on how to use the tools specifically. Let's see how to load a Sparks plugin once you're inside Flame. There are a few different methods, so let's get started. From the Tools menu, you can select the Plugins tab and click one of the Sparks buttons. Once a plugin is loaded, the Sparks file browser appears. Sparks buttons are labeled as follows L, the plugin can be loaded. E, the plugin has settings, and S, you can enter the module using the same media from the previous session. Once you select a plugin, you're returned to your previous location and the name of the plugin appears on the selected button. If you need to replace a Sparks plugin, just press Option and click on an existing Sparks button and select a new plugin. Let's start with Real Smart Motion Blur Desktop. This means that I will be working directly from the timeline. This is a quick method because there is less computing, but you're limited as to what you can do. So from the timeline, I can adjust the amount of blur. It will prompt me to pick front, which is the clip that I want to add blur to, and then select back, which can be a different clip if I want to generate the motion from another clip. Otherwise, just choose the same clip twice. Then it wants to know where to put the render. I select a reel and it starts processing right here on the desktop. If I want to do something more complicated, like adding keyframes, I would have to use Real Smart Motion Blur and actually enter the module for more menu options and the ability to add keyframes. The same goes for Real Smart Motion Blur vectors. Both of these options would have to be accessed through BFX or Batch Menu. These are loaded via the Sparks file browser. Desktop Twixter is similar in the sense that it is a quick method that you can use on the timeline, but it only has six basic parameters. If you need to do an overall speed percentage adjustment, this is the place for you. You would just enter the speed factor. For instance, 0.5 would slow it down by half. We could just render it to the desktop. If you need to add keyframes or adjust speed by frame number or adjust other options, you would need to access the Twixter Spark through Batch or BFX. Now let's see how to use Sparks in Batch or BFX. Two different Sparks nodes are available. With the Sparks node, these plugins that are loaded via the Sparks file browser, you would select the Sparks node and drag it to the schematic. The number of inputs and bit depth will dynamically update depending on the Spark. With the Sparks load node, these are multiple Sparks nodes that can be populated at the same time into a destination bin. So we can create a specific bin, in this case revision, and drag Sparks load to the revision bin. And then we can add Sparks to the bin. The selected Sparks are created as their own nodes in the destination bin. To use one, we can drag it from the destination bin to the schematic. You don't have to re-enter the Sparks browser to load a Spark if you've preloaded it into a bin. So Sparks Load Node is a tool that's useful for loading Sparks plugins as new nodes in specific bins for a particular project, and that would make it easier and faster to access them in the long run. This is how you install and load Sparks in Flame. Please see the previous Flame tutorial on OFX plugins to see how to load and use them. 